What are the golden rules when it comes to relationships? Relationships, whether romantic, platonic, or familial, are essential components of our lives. They shape our emotional well-being, influence our personal growth, and provide a foundation for companionship and support. Yet, building and maintaining healthy relationships is often easier said than done. Here are the golden rules that can help guide you in fostering meaningful and lasting connections. 1. Communication is key. Effective communication is the cornerstone of any healthy relationship. It's not just about speaking your mind but also about listening actively. Here's how to apply this rule. Be open and honest. Transparency in expressing your thoughts, feelings, and needs prevents misunderstandings. If something is bothering you, address it with your partner or friend rather than letting it simmer beneath the surface. Practice active listening. Listening isn't just about waiting for your turn to speak. Show empathy by truly understanding the other person's perspective. This builds trust and ensures that both parties feel heard and valued. Real life example. In a marriage, couples who maintain open communication are more likely to overcome challenges. For instance, John and Jane noticed their relationship was strained due to busy schedules. Rather than ignoring the problem, they sat down weekly to discuss their frustrations and how they could spend more quality time together. This open dialogue strengthened their bond. 2. Respect boundaries. Every relationship requires mutual respect for personal boundaries. Boundaries help maintain individual identity while ensuring that both parties feel secure and respected. Know your boundaries, reflect on your own needs, whether they are emotional, physical, or time-related, and communicate them. Respect others' boundaries, whether it's giving someone space during an argument or respecting their need for time alone, honoring boundaries shows you value the person as an individual. Case Study Consider Gaffa, who values alone time to recharge after work. Her partner, Cicillo, initially struggled with this because he felt she was distancing herself. Once Gaffa explained that personal space helped her feel refreshed and happier in their relationship, Cicillo understood and began respecting her needs, improving their connection. 3. Trust is a non-negotiable foundation. Trust takes time to build but can be broken in an instant. Trust isn't just about fidelity in romantic relationships, it's about reliability, dependability, and honesty in all relationships. Be consistent, reliability is the backbone of trust. Show up for others when you say you will and follow through on promises. Address trust issues openly, if there's ever a breach of trust, address it directly. Ignoring the issue can erode the foundation of the relationship. Example. In friendships, trust means being there in moments of need. When Emily needed emotional support during a difficult period, her best friend, Kate, consistently checked in on her and helped her through tough times. This reliability reinforced the strength of their friendship. 4. Compromise is essential. No two people are alike, which means disagreements and differences are inevitable in any relationship. The ability to compromise shows emotional maturity and a willingness to prioritize the relationship over personal pride. Know when to bend. While it's important to stand up for your values, certain situations call for flexibility. Compromise helps relationships thrive because it demonstrates mutual consideration. Find win-win solutions. Strive for solutions that consider both parties' perspectives. This approach prevents one person from feeling like they're sacrificing too much. Real-life example. In a relationship, conflicting opinions on where to live can cause tension. Amanda wanted to stay in the city for career opportunities, while her partner, Mike, preferred a quieter suburban life. After many discussions, they decided to move to a town that offered proximity to the city but also the peaceful atmosphere Mike desired. This compromise ensured that both partners were satisfied. 5. Celebrate each other's successes. Healthy relationships are built on mutual support, which includes celebrating one another's achievements. Being genuinely happy for your partner or friend's successes fosters a positive and nurturing dynamic. Show enthusiasm. Whether it's a promotion at work or mastering a new skill, celebrate milestones. 
This not only boosts the individual but also strengthens the bond. Avoid jealousy or competition. Comparing yourself to others can harm the relationship. Instead, focus on shared joy and pride in each other's accomplishments. Case Study Salsa and Adi have been best friends for years. When Salsa received a prestigious award at work, Adi threw a small celebration for her, showing his excitement. This gesture deepened their friendship, as it reinforced the mutual support they had built over the years. 6. Maintain Independence A strong relationship thrives when both individuals maintain a sense of independence. While it's crucial to spend quality time together, having your hobbies, friends, and interests ensures that you bring something fresh and unique to the relationship. Encourage individual growth. Support your partner or friend in pursuing personal goals, whether it's a new hobby, career move, or personal development project. Balance time together and apart. Healthy relationships require time spent together and apart. Use the time apart to recharge and pursue personal interests, which can enrich the time spent together. Example. Rita and Zale have a strong romantic relationship, but both make time for personal interests. While Zale enjoys playing in a local soccer league, Rita pursues her passion for painting. Their individual growth fosters conversations and experiences that keep the relationship dynamic and interesting. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. 7. Handle conflict with kindness. Conflict is natural, but how you handle it defines the relationship. Kindness and patience during disagreements prevent long-term resentment and foster emotional intimacy. Stay calm and focused on the issue. In heated moments, it's easy to let emotions control the conversation. Stay focused on the issue at hand and avoid hurtful comments or bringing up past conflicts. Use I statements instead of placing blame with you always or you never express your feelings with i feel to communicate your perspective without sounding accusatory case study during a disagreement about finances mia and jordan focused on using i statements mia said i feel overwhelmed when we don't have a clear budget rather than you never plan this simple shift allowed them to work together on a solution without escalating the conflict 8. Show gratitude regularly. Appreciation is the glue that holds relationships together. Small gestures of gratitude can make a huge difference in how connected and valued both parties feel. Acknowledge the little things. Whether it's thanking your partner for making dinner or appreciating a friend's support, regular expressions of gratitude reinforce positive behaviors. Show appreciation in different forms. Gratitude doesn't always have to be verbal. A thoughtful gesture, a handwritten note, or a surprise gift can go a long way in showing someone they are valued. Real Life Example Every night before bed, Chris and Kelly make a habit of sharing one thing they are grateful for about each other that day. This practice keeps their relationship strong by highlighting the positive aspects they appreciate in one another. Ultimately, relationships require consistent effort, patience, and empathy. By following these golden rules, you can nurture stronger, more fulfilling connections that stand the test of time. Whether in a romantic relationship, friendship, or family dynamic, these principles can guide you toward creating bonds built on trust, respect, and mutual support. How can one address trust issues openly in a relationship? Addressing trust issues in a relationship can be delicate but essential for repairing and strengthening the bond. Here are some steps to tackle trust issues openly. 1. Acknowledge the issue. Start by openly recognizing that there is a trust issue. Whether it's due to past experiences or a specific incident, admitting the problem is the first step in resolving it. Avoid sweeping it under the rug or pretending it doesn't exist. 2. Communicate without blame. Use I statements to express how you feel rather than blaming the other person. For example, instead of saying, you always lie to me, try, I feel hurt when I don't get the full truth. This prevents the conversation from becoming accusatory and defensive. 3. Be specific and honest, clearly explain why you feel there's a breach of trust. 
Vague complaints can lead to misunderstandings, so give concrete examples of actions or situations that have made you feel uneasy. 4. Listen to their side. Trust issues often stem from miscommunication or misunderstandings. Allow your partner to explain their side, and listen actively without interrupting. This fosters an environment of understanding rather than conflict. 5. Work toward a solution. Once the issue has been discussed, collaboratively explore ways to rebuild trust. This could mean setting new boundaries, being more transparent, or addressing specific behaviors that triggered the issue. 6. Be patient and consistent. Rebuilding trust takes time. Both parties should commit to being consistent in their actions and patient with each other as they work through the healing process. How can one find win-win solutions in compromising situations within a relationship? Finding win-win solutions in compromising situations allows both individuals to feel valued and respected. Here's how to achieve that. 1. Identify the core needs. Rather than focusing on surface-level desires, dig deeper to understand the core needs of both parties. For example, if one person wants to go on vacation while the other prefers saving money, the core need may be relaxation for one and financial security for the other. 2. Collaborate, don't compete. Approach the situation as a team, working together to find a solution rather than competing to win the argument. Both parties should feel that their needs are being considered. 3. Be open to creativity. Sometimes, win-win solutions require thinking outside the box. Don't get stuck in a binary mindset of, either or. For instance, if one partner wants to move for career growth and the other doesn't want to leave friends behind, explore alternatives like moving to a city nearby or finding remote work opportunities. 4. Break the issue into smaller parts. Complex issues can feel overwhelming. Breaking the problem into smaller components allows you to find solutions to individual parts, making it easier to reach a compromise. 5. Focus on long-term happiness. While it might be tempting to focus on short-term satisfaction, consider the long-term impact of the compromise. If both parties prioritize the overall health of the relationship, they are more likely to find solutions that benefit both in the long run. What are some effective ways to avoid jealousy or competition when celebrating each other's successes in a relationship? Jealousy or competition can harm the emotional connection in a relationship. Here are ways to avoid it. 1. Reframe success as shared. View each other's successes as shared victories rather than individual achievements. If your partner excels in their career or personal goals, remind yourself that their success contributes positively to your shared life and happiness. 2. Celebrate without comparison. Avoid comparing yourself to your partner or friend. Instead, focus on their specific achievement and the hard work that led them there. Remind yourself that each person's journey is unique, and someone else's success doesn't diminish your worth or accomplishments. 3. Reflect on your insecurities. Jealousy often arises from personal insecurities. If you find yourself feeling competitive, take time to understand the root of your emotions. Are you feeling inadequate in your career or personal growth? Addressing these insecurities can help you genuinely celebrate your partner's success without negative feelings. 4. Practice gratitude. Regularly express gratitude for your strengths and achievements. Recognizing your worth makes it easier to support others without feeling envious or competitive. 5. Be each other's cheerleader. Actively encourage and support your partner's goals and ambitions. When you're involved in their journey and invested in their growth, it becomes more natural to celebrate their success wholeheartedly. 6. Emphasize team mentality. Keep in mind that you are partners or friends, not rivals. Strengthening each other contributes to the relationship as a whole. Celebrate their success as part of the overall growth of your relationship, knowing that both of you are thriving in different ways. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.